Welcome to a reaction video. We are checking out the Ghost of Tsushima gameplay with PlayStation's uh, State of Play. Hello. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, Kyle Hilliard, how are you? I'm doing well. It's been a busy day. It has been busy. Uh, you're working on your podcast, yes? Yeah, just went up. And uh, we, you and me did a video this morning, too. So. Yeah, we recorded Photo Mode Snap. We'll be going live tomorrow. Uh, Jeff Marquefava, how are you, son? I'm doing great. Uh, I would would be nice if you could close the chat on your video uh, screen. No kidding. All right, let's just do that until the video starts. <laughs> Perfect. Because uh, it is ferocious, and I'm assuming is just filled with The Last of Us Part Two spoilers because PlayStation fans can be oh, God. angry at times. So please, I'm yeah. sorry if you accidentally caught something there. Um, caught something that isn't the, the pandemic virus, uh, but instead Last of Us Two spoilers, which is... Terrific in its own Too way. soon, man. Too soon. You're right. Hello, Sci-Fi Guy. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching and being here. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm excited about this. We're going to talk about it on uh, the MinMax Show podcast, which we're going to be live streaming directly after this. We know it's a weird, funky format for everybody, but uh, we hope you appreciate it. And we're not going to be doing MinMax Show as a podcast live every single week. It just happens to be two weeks in a row that are kind of weird. But yeah, people are wondering, Kyle, Yeah, why are you so dressed up? What's going on? Huh? Uh, I, so on Thursdays I, I stream video games I, and I usually just put a suit on cause it's weird and fun and distinguishing. Um, distinguishing? everyone knows Look wearing a suit is fun and I just was so freaking busy today that I didn't even get to take it off. So I'm just wearing it. So this is a fancy stream now. You're welcome. But how about if you really like this Ghost of Tsushima gameplay, you like slowly undo your tie and just kind of like, mm. oh boy, sucker It is going to get really it. hot in my little closet. So... <laughs> Uh, a bad idea. And Jeff, thanks for dressing down just to try and even it out. We really appreciate it. Yeah, that. I was going to wear a suit, so I'm glad because that would have been really embarrassing. <laughs> oh. oh, hello, uh, Dr. Big. Hello, Travis McGowey. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Charles Davis. Hello, Major Panda. Uh, it's so nice with the MinMax community to recognize. Oh, look at this. To recognize so many of these names at this point. Um, it makes being on the internet so much better when it's like, oh, it feels like a small place. I know these names yeah. pretty well yeah, at this point. And to be clear, when I said that Hansen should close his chat because people are monsters, I was talking about the Sony State of Play chat, not That's the right. wonderful MinMax audience. It's you guys are great. Those outraged people, um, which I, uh, you know, it's tough to be like, oh, I'm looking forward to covering Last of Us. And every time we've dipped the toes into covering Last of Us, uh, the level of vitriol and passion in that community is. Uh, monumental and like i know that's not all playstation fans that's not all naughty dog fans it's not last of us fans and people have the right to be upset about certain things if they see things they don't like but at the same time it's like man it's just tough to dip your toe into a very hostile internet every once in a while yeah. oh yeah um i don't like it there no you know what's a nicer place is a uh, patreon because people like uh, christopher ortiz just supported us at the trailer tier thank you christopher nice thank you appreciate it that's patreon.com slash max two ends we're a patreon about games friends and getting better uh, we just finished The Deepest Dive, which is our gigantic community game club on the Final Fantasy VII remake. The last episode was all about kind of spoiling the original game and talking about the remake through the lens of the original game. And neither of you had finished the original Final Fantasy VII, so you haven't tuned into that yet, right? Correct. Okay. No. I, want, for, I, I checked on the first five minutes and you insulted Jeff on the night. I was like, I'm, uh, I'm out of here. Hey, I'd Perfect. appreciate if you didn't be a little narc and just kind of rat me out in front of Jeff on this person who I love insulting when he's not on videos because I know he never wow. watches them. Yeah. I, just, I wanted to see Joe Juba's uh, beautiful face. So yeah, I wanted nice to make to sure him. he still looked the same. Yeah. So. Joe from Game Informer joined us for the last discussion. So please check that out and let us know what you think. Here we go. Chat, join us. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima! Let's get sucker punched! Oh, can you remove annotations on the bottom right corner there? Kyle, I will do it just for you. Thank you so much. And I'll also ask you to define annotation. The, the little thingy. Oh, we got nudity here. Hell I know. Yeah. Hanson, you have to close this? your eyes when we tell you. Okay. Let me know. You might have audio in your uh, presentation. I hear it. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch oh. Productions. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, Tsushima. customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore 
the world of Tsushima. This is a tone. They are setting that tone, baby. I love it. <laughs> Good tone. Killer tone. It is. Like, this is look at some pretty flowers and talk about exploration. They said they confirmed yesterday, by the way, no PS5 nudes during this whatsoever. Okay. So don't expect any of that. But Jeff can make some whenever he wants to. Yeah. The wind in every one of these games Exploration trailers. has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. Yeah, Jeff. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? Yeah, people in the chat noticing the lighting on the cape is just absurd. I'll call that a cape. I don't think it's technically correct. It's half a poncho. Love seeing this map. That's fun. Any, um, is he gonna jump off that cliff? Guiding wind. Oh, oh so that's like your- Wind waker. That's fascinating. So mm. instead of having a little marker on the map, it's just wind gusts guiding you a direction. And that's, and your, and your cape has like gameplay functionality in that regard. Yeah. I think this game is gonna be good. Hell yeah, it is. I think we should do it for a deepest dive, Kyle. <laughs> But we'll let the community is. decide. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that they're trying to minimize it, UI. Mm -hmm. The HUD's probably turned off for the demo, asked Brandon. But you don't know. I mean, I think this is probably their design that they're going for. That's it. Let's go to Tsushima. The real Tsushima, y'all. That's... I'll adjust the wind at any time to point you in the right direction. That's amazing. So if you get lost, you can press a button. That's cool. That's a smart pick, idea. Pick some plants, it looks like. Without getting off the horse, even? Yeah. Good note. Soundtrack killer. Yeah, it's funny. The amount of people that are probably going to be comparing this to Wind Waker. <laughs> God, that'd be scary. What if you cut your arm on that tree when you're running by it? He's a pro, man. He was raised a samurai or something. Whatever the last trailer said. He was, but he's learning. He might you have to become a farmstead. farmstead. You know what they say. Come on. The guiding wind can take you to all kinds of locations in the game. Like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that yeah. you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smoke stacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. <laughs> huh. Animals trying to get your attention. Like last year. Just a monkey screaming its head off. This way! This way! People are obviously comparing it to Red Dead. Uh, that will be mm. fun to do a lot of side-by-side -side comparisons of their horse tech versus Rockstar's horse tech. Some oh, bird. there oh. we go. There's a bird. So there's a bird telling you where to go. This way! Follow the bird, you fool! Is he, like, connected to the animals, do you Stay think? Stay away, my lord! The spirits like of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. No. It's Let's such a small thing, but grabbing stuff without getting off the horse is like... <laughs> no, I you hear know? you. It's your jam. It's my jam. I don't want to get off that horse if I don't have to. I like that. I got some linen. You just like linen? No, I like uh, scavenging, looting. Although this is like his island that he's trying to protect. So it's a little odd if he's just going around just grabbing everything from all these different houses. Well, that was a house that had clearly been like ransacked, right? Yeah, but he doesn't have to yeah, no, do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, see? Okay. Foxes will guide you into hidden areas. So that's a... Shrines, yeah. Shrines. 
Zoink. Look at that. No animation to grab that. Couldn't turn off the collect animation fast enough in Far Cry. Yeah. Oh, I like having animals guide you to things. So yeah. can you kill the fox? I don't want to. I want to be clear. But, like, could you? Can the you... first thing you think. Jeff, can that? you imagine being in that sicko Kyle's head? He wants to <laughs> no. kill the fox. Once you visit, you return with fast travel. Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string oh, of Tori I want this man to narrate to my mountain birthday shrine, party. <gasps> or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Come on. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. The fastest shimmy into a small cave I've ever seen in video games. This is next gen shimmy. On current gen. The hell? Look, that guy. Ueda will like this game. <laughs> Think Ueda would play it? No. Actually, God, I wonder. I bet he would. I think he. I think he likes. You know, all games. I don't think he's like a snob about it or anything. Did you see him playing that flute? It's Wind Waker, man. I guess he had a ton of Wind Waker. This is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Oh, of course, Nate Fox. Now we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. You know Nate personally, don't you, Hanson? Yeah, I've been to Sucker Punch on the Game Informer Cover Story trip for Second Son. Nate is one of the funniest developers I've ever met in my life. Well, it's good, because this looks like a very funny game. I can't stop laughing at those boxes. <laughs> if you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors Black and sizing white. each other up, waiting for the other to make Damn the all. first move. Fight me! Hey, fight me! Oh, weird. So you have to, like, Dude, actively engage. You can't just run up and start swinging your sword. I, I guess know. it depends. Hell yeah. Oh, oh more UI than they've ever showed in the past. I like how fast that is, man. I don't know about that tennis ball UI. <laughs> That's how it was, As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real sorry, skillful I'm allergic precision to art. I'm in sorry. fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. Little drop on that arrow, right? I think so, yeah. I like what they're saying here, that it's like, you're not pulling off combos. Like, you're not really hitting square a lot. It looks right. Like, you know? And the other thing I like is, it looks like if you're good, you can get through these these combat scenarios quickly. You know, like it's not gonna. That be dude just lost a hand. I didn't need it. Well, he kind of missed once. Yeah, there's some sort of that. Nope, nope, nope. Stop yelling for Sasha. Flicking the blood off. Gotta keep your sword clean. <laughs> keep your stick on the ice. Do you have to do that for everybody? Like, is that how you collect them? Is you go up and bow to them? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. A little stealth. Okay, so that was Jin fighting as a samurai. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the dishonorable ghost. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think of. I would ride a black even horse. Uh, even dude, using you can fear leap off the horse? Ah, uh, video games are fun, aren't they? <laughs> Ooh, is this the armpit blow? That's where the heart used to be. <laughs> in the 1200s. Boy, he really <laughs> packed a wall up. So is this like a Far Cry-ish 
kind of taken over this settlement situation. I mean, I guess you did that in Assassin's Creed as well, right? Yeah. That seems likely. Oh, there you go. There you go, Sekiro fans. You love those things, don't you? <laughs> oh, now we can confirm this game is for Sekiro fans? <laughs> yeah. The last uh, 13 minutes haven't meant anything to you? <laughs> Hello. I wonder how optional the stealth stuff is. You know, if like there's gonna be story sequences where it's like you need to do it this way for this settlement. Mm. I'm trying to think back to like the infamous games. If there was any like fail, say you know, like instant yeah. fail kind of missions like that. I think they usually let you approach stuff that you want. Not right. that you know, infamous is necessarily an indicator of how this will play, but. What about Sly? Hmm. Sly might have had some, yeah. But Sly was all like you were a stealthy person in Sly, where you're not an infamous. Yeah. And by person, of course, I mean Reckon. The Heart of Gold. It's the Ark, I believe. What is that? Is that a ship? Or like a catapult? Jesus. Well, we'll never know, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no way of knowing, unfortunately. That's cool. I don't mo know much about Mongol culture. It'll be fun to learn about it as we're dismantling it. I mean, and they're, you know, kind of in that Assassin's Creed sort of vein. Like, they're going for realism, right? In terms of the historical accuracy, or is it getting, is it yeah. getting crazy? No, I don't. I don't think it's getting magic crazy. I think that's yeah. going to be the fun of the game. Is like, you know, oh, he feels like he's magic, and people are scared of him as if he is a magical person. But it's just, it's Batman, you know? Yeah. I like Batman. Yeah, I miss Batman. Hey. I love that. Does that count for big text on the screen, Kyle, even if it's not in English? Yeah, I think so. Your favorite yeah. thing? Yeah, I gotta screen cap that. <laughs> Ooh. You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical this. advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen play style. As you explore the world, you'll discover Omamori charms. They'll give you an edge in battle. But more importantly, as your legend grows, you'll develop all new techniques which transform Jin from a samurai into the ghost. But the thing is, you get to decide how those techniques evolve and grow over time. Mm -hmm. It's always worth keeping an eye out for dye flowers. Find enough of them and you can change the color of an armor. So not only do you get to choose how the ghost gameplay evolves, but you can fine tune the look as well. I wonder if that's gonna affect things. You know, like if I have hot pink armor strutting in, if they'll see me easier or something. Mm. Probably not. It's funny that this is this is a bullet point on this presentation. Now, photo mode is super like smart. Important. And, photo mode. In our new photo mode, we have features such as color grading, depth of field, so you can focus on the right objects. Can we take a screenshot of this we and submit it to photo mode snap or uh, show Kyle? And I, movement, hey, you're in charge. Right right about it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you can control the wind's direction, the speed. You can change oh, wow. particles to different types of leaves and fireflies. That is very cool. You can even select a track of music from our original score that might be a little bit more fitting. So if you're into doing a oh, photo, or maybe you actually want to do a video, there's something here for you. Oh, Here's interesting. Here's a few that I've created. That's so obvious to make videos with like photo mode editing style. Tools. Yeah. Why no one done that yet. I love this too. Yeah, people are worried about the lip sync. 
with and what playing Japanese, Japanese voice sorry. track option oh. with subtitles is a perfect fit for our game. So I'm happy to say that before the first scene even starts, you'll be able to turn this option on. That's awesome. Alright. It's no seven remake, but you know. Thank you so much, Nathan, for supporting us on Patreon. We appreciate it. Thank you, Nathan. Are you friends with Nate? He says no, I hate Nate. Here at Sucker Punch, we are huge oh. fans of Samurai Cinema. We wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing. Oh, your black and white, just like you were joking at in the beginning, Hanson. <laughs> so we insane. created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from what? the very beginning of the game. Hmm. That's super cool. God, they're really smart, aren't they? <laughs> can I have it in color in film grain? <laughs> Just looking at a world. No, I mean, Link looking over the thing, like the oh, first thing sure. you experience. And yeah, that was the first time anyone ever did that. Shared with you yep. some of the unique ways that you can explore the Got island of Tsushima. We've Nailed also shared me. with you some of the ways that you can fight as a Let's samurai. Go play Red Dead. Don't assassinate <laughs> as the ghost. Or customize Jin. Or play in special ways. But we have so much more to show you in the future. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. Oh. Lightning. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, people seem very impressed. Let us know what you think in the chat there. People are into it, baby. Yeah, I certainly count myself among those folks. Yeah. Yeah, who needs Assassin's Creed uh, with Samurai? We got this now. Yeah, is sure. that going to be the end of the year debate? Is this versus Valhalla, probably? Both historical open world, you know. It'll be an interesting matchup for sure, yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, hey, thanks so much for joining us in the chat and uh, watching the gameplay reveal. Not reveal, but new gameplay technically revealed for Ghost of Tsushima from Sucker Punch. Uh, we'll be covering it at MinMax. And again, if you support us at any tier, you can leave comments. Uh, and questions for us to read on the MinMax show. You can also possibly win Question of the Week, where you get a wonderful prize from our dear friends at I Am 8-Bit. Um, this month, we're giving away the Cuphead soundtrack on vinyl. Very exciting. Uh, we have some little plushies that are very cute that we'll be giving away, and the Messenger soundtrack on vinyl. So uh, submit something good to the MinMax show podcast, and you have a very good chance of getting something amazing. Uh, thanks. Anything else you guys want to plug over there, Jeff and Kyle? No. Stay, stay tuned. Watch uh, the show. Yeah. So we're gonna be streaming the Midmax Show podcast uh, live. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, then we'll be right back with some special guests. We're gonna be talking about uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remake, Unreal Engine Five, maybe a little bit about Paper Mario, all that good stuff. And if you missed that live stream, you can always subscribe to the Midmax Show podcast on your favorite podcast app, and that episode will be waiting for you. And again, please check out The Deepest Dive. It is the best, most thorough discussion about Final Fantasy VII Remake on the internet. You can find that on our YouTube channel, or if you support us at the $5 tier on Patreon, then you unlock the podcast version. But uh, hey, we'll be back in a little bit uh, with our live stream of the MinMax Show. Bye, everybody. Bye.